Have you ever been waiting to get off a bus or get out of a train station and you get stuck behind someone fiddling with their phone as they try to tap off? If you live in Sydney, there's news that could be about to make it faster to use public transport. In the years since New South Wales introduced the Opal ticketing system, technological advancements have meant Sydney siders can use their credit cards as well as a standard Opal card to tap on and off buses, trains, ferries and light rail. It's not just been physical credit cards either. If you've added your credit card to your digital wallet on your smartphone or your smartwatch, you can use those devices too to tap on and off. And it's proven pretty popular. More than 65% of all credit card tap-ons have been virtual tap-ons, that is, using a phone or a smartwatch. However, there's always been a catch. Passengers using a smartphone to tap on and off public transport have always had to unlock their phone, either through facial recognition or through a passcode or fingerprint to authorise it as a payment, much like if they're in a cafe or restaurant. If you've ever tried this, you've probably found it to be a clumsy process that slowed you down. But in some big news for commuters, the New South Wales government and Apple have worked together so now anyone using their iPhone or Apple Watch to tap on and off public transport won't have to unlock their device anymore. In a feature called Express Mode that's being rolled out right now, all that an Apple user has to do is tap their iPhone or Apple Watch on an Opal reader and it will automatically register as if it was a physical Opal card or credit card being tapped. The New South Wales government thinks this could make a real difference for people using public transport because the vast majority of people tapping on with their smartphones are Apple users. But there's not much in this if you're an Android user and if you use a concession or senior Opal card, you're still going to want to keep your physical card handy so you can access your discounts. Now this isn't creating digital Opal cards. We're not quite there yet. The government's talked about that maybe in the future. This is just technology to help people who use their credit cards on their phones to tap on and off. But if you want a blast from the past, get a load of what's happening in Melbourne. The banking system, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I think it's quite suitable. It works pretty well for me. The older tram, especially, when you're actually tapping on, you have to literally rub your Mikey. I don't have to tap on, I don't have to tap off. It's a little bit confusing. Those cards expire, so if they expire, you have to get a new one, which is stupid. The day before, I had used the same Mikey, and the next day, it said Mikey expired. With the Android phones, you can actually use the Mikey. With the Apple iPhones, you can't really download the thing. For me, it's a little bit disappointing that I cannot have it on my phone. Well, I'm Android, but that Suck yes. for Compared to the rest of the world, yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty behind. We used to live in London and we use Oyster card. We could also use a credit card or debit card. It's okay, but it'll be good when the credit cards and, um, and it becomes more electronic, I think. Yeah, we should be able to use our debit cards as such. That'll be actually good. If you can find a system that when you pass through the gate and it can just you know, just tap in itself so then we don't have to thinking that, oh, have I tapped in? Have I tapped on? Have I tapped off? Sour grapes, maybe. But in the everlasting battle between Australia's two biggest cities, when it comes to tapping on public transport, Sydney probably has bragging rights. You like going on the train, Morgan? Yes, I love the train. You like the train?